Hey there, fellow time traveler. Remember those good old days when TV shows were the highlight of our week, and we eagerly awaited the next episode to grace our screens. Ah, nostalgia, it's like a warm hug from the past. Now, let me take you on a trip down memory lane to the vibrant year of 1976. Back then, there was a gem of a show that lit up our living rooms with laughter and friendship, Laverne and Shirley. Oh, the memories. Can you recall the familiar jingle and the quirky escapades of Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney as they navigated the ups and downs of life in Milwaukee? If you were one of those avid viewers, I'm sure the mere mention of the show has sparked a flood of memories. Do you remember gathering with family or friends to watch the latest episode? Perhaps you had a favorite character whose antics left you in stitches or a memorable moment etched in the corridors of your mind. Now, I'm curious, what were your go-to snacks during those Laverne and Shirley viewing parties? Share those popcorn-filled tales, and let's weave a tapestry of reminiscence together. Who knows, your story might resonate with someone else who fondly remembers the charm of the 76 TV scene. So, spill the beans. What made Laverne and Shirley your ultimate favorite? Let's relive those moments, share our laughter, and celebrate the timeless magic of television that brought us all together. And now, my friends, get ready for a delightful dose of random facts about the show that you might not have known. It's time to uncover the hidden gems and behind-the-scenes tales that add an extra layer of intrigue to the Laverne and Shirley saga. Get ready to be surprised. In a candid revelation, Penny Marshall, one half of the dynamic duo in the 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley, pinpointed her favorite episode, Why Did the Fireman? This installment deviated from the show's usual comedic tone, delving into a serious plotline. The narrative unfolds tragically with Laverne's boyfriend, Randy, meeting his demise while battling a fire. The aftermath sees Laverne grappling with grief, descending into denial. It takes her father's heartfelt intervention to pull her back from the brink. Gary Marshall, the creative force behind Laverne and Shirley, admitted in interviews that the show's conceptual roots lie in the iconic I Love Lucy. Drawing inspiration from Lucy and Ethel's comedic antics, he sought to reimagine their dynamic for a new generation. This connection is not arbitrary. Gary Marshall had previously worked with Lucille Ball on The Lucy Show before embarking on his prolific career, launching with The Odd Couple. Interestingly, a quirky behind-the-scenes tidbit adds flavor to the show's history. Originally, the girls were scripted to smoke during a Happy Days spin-off episode. However, the network's censors nixed the idea, leading to a swift substitution. Gum chewing became the on-screen vice of choice. Laverne and Shirley navigated through light-hearted comedy and occasional poignant moments, earning its place in television history. The series' ability to balance humor and heart is a testament to the Marshall siblings' creative prowess, drawing from both personal experiences and classic television. The show's journey reflects the dynamics of its time, blending innovation with a nod to the past. As it turns out, behind the laughter and camaraderie, Laverne and Shirley carries a nuanced legacy shaped by tragedy, inspiration, and network sensibilities. And that's the scoop on the fascinating nuances behind the scenes of Laverne and Shirley, straight from the candid insights of its creators and cast. The evolution of Laverne and Shirley's apartment set in 1976, after the odd couple bid farewell to the small screen. Its iconic apartment set found new life as the backdrop for Laverne and Shirley's living quarters. The transition marked a seamless transformation, showcasing the resourcefulness of television production and repurposing existing sets. Gary Marshall, the creative force behind both shows, orchestrated this set metamorphosis. The decision not only saved time and resources, but also added a touch of familiarity for viewers who had grown attached to the odd couple's setting. While Marshall's kids enjoyed free access to the Happy Days set, the Laverne and Shirley stage was off limits. The reason? Persistent strife among the show's leading ladies, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney. The sibling ban on the set underscored the intensity of the on-screen chemistry and off-screen discord between the co-stars. The Angora Debs, a teenage club that Laverne and Shirley were part of in their formative years, adds an intriguing layer to the character's backstory. This tidbit from the show's narrative provides a glimpse into the shared history of the two friends, offering viewers a peek into their lives before they became roommates and began navigating the challenges of adulthood together. 
In the landscape of 1976 television, Laverne and Shirley carved its own niche with a mix of humor, camaraderie, and behind-the-scenes drama. The show's ability to reinvent existing sets, the off-limits policy for Marshall's children, and the nostalgic touch of the Angora Debs Club contribute to the multifaceted legacy of this iconic series. So, whether it's the recycled apartment set, the backstage tension, or the teenage club memories, Laverne and Shirley continues to resonate in the annals of television history, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. The unseen battle behind Laverne and Shirley casting in the early days of the hit 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley. A hidden drama unfolded behind the scenes that involved the neighboring set of another popular show, Happy Days. According to accounts from various Happy Days cast members, the sounds of fierce arguments emanating from the Laverne and Shirley set were so intense that some eavesdropped with glasses pressed against the walls. However, the drama wasn't confined to off-screen disputes. The genesis of Laverne and Shirley itself had its share of twists. After the success of the Happy Days episode A Date with Fonzie, which introduced audiences to Laverne and Shirley, ABC swiftly approached Cindy Williams and Penny Marshall for a spin-off. While Penny agreed, Cindy declined due to her aspirations for a movie career, leading ABC to recast the role of Shirley with an actress named Liberty Williams. Liberty, known for her voice work as Jaina in the Super Friends, filmed scenes with Penny Marshall, and ABC was ready to roll with the new pairing. Yet, the chemistry seemed lacking compared to the genuine friendship between Cindy and Penny. ABC executives were prepared to move forward with Liberty, but a last-minute plea from Gary Marshall convinced Cindy to reconsider. She ultimately relented, sealing the fate of Laverne and Shirley as we know it. Interestingly, a screen test featuring Liberty Williams as Shirley exists in an ABC vault, never seen by the public. Michael Eisner, an ABC casting executive, delves into this behind-the-scenes drama in an Emmy TV Legends interview available on YouTube. The casting saga wasn't the only unexpected twist in Laverne and Shirley's history. In the sixth season premiere, titled Not Quite New York, Fred Dreyer, then a defensive end with the laugh. Rams made his television debut in a 30-second spot as a lifeguard in Laverne's dream sequence. As the series unfolded, its backstage stories were as compelling as the on-screen antics, making Laverne and Shirley not only a beloved sitcom, but also a testament to the unexpected drama that can shape the entertainment industry. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the delightful escapades of Laverne and Shirley, let the curtain fall not on just a TV show, but on a timeless tale of friendship, laughter, and resilience. In the quaint streets of Milwaukee, two extraordinary women navigated the maze of life with an unmatched blend of humor and heart. Now, as the echoes of their boisterous laughter linger in our minds, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own memories. Recall the times when Laverne's unmistakable El Monogram adorned her sweaters, or when Shirley's infectious optimism brightened the screen. In the warp and weft of sitcom history, this 1976 gem found its special place, weaving itself into the fabric of our lives. Perhaps it was Laverne's brash charm or Shirley's endearing naivety that resonated with you. Maybe it was the way they faced challenges head-on, turning every setback into a comedic triumph. Whatever the connection, Laverne and Shirley became more than characters on a screen. They became companions in our living rooms, teaching us that even in the mundane, there's room for joy. So, dear friend, let your thoughts unfurl like the opening credits of your favorite episode. Share your cherished moments, the scenes that made you burst into laughter or those that touched a tender chord in your heart. In this shared reflection, we build a collective ode to the timeless spirit of camaraderie that Laverne and Shirley brought into our lives. As we wrap up this journey down memory lane, we extend our gratitude for sharing this voyage with us. Your stories, your laughs, and your reflections add vibrant hues to the canvas of this classic series. Thank you for being a part of this trip back to Milwaukee, where the soda shop was a hub of dreams and laughter was the currency of friendship. Farewell for now, and until our next expedition into the realms of nostalgia, may your days be sprinkled with the enduring magic of Laverne and Shirley.